LV55 Media LLC presents Private Investigations Read Aloud, a chronological scene-by-scene -scene read through of the Private Investigations Book 1 and Book 2 novel for the viewing community. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, I'm sorry if I said anything that upset. Megan interrupts Nicole from speaking. It's okay, Nikki, she assures. Nicole, realizing how awkward and uncomfortable the situation has become, now stands up. I'll be back, you guys, she says, as she follows in Samantha's direction. As Nicole arrives at the restroom, she knocks on the door a couple of times. Sam, you in there, she asks. Open the door. I want to come in. After several moments, Samantha unlocks the door and opens it, allowing her friend to enter. After closing the door and locking it behind her, Nicole observes Samantha with her back against the wall, leaning against it, her head slightly bowed down, and her arms are folded across her chest as she stares at the floor. Nicole assumes the same position next to her friend. After several moments of silence, Nicole looks toward Samantha and initiates a conversation in Spanish in an attempt to persuade her extended sister from remaining in a funk. Sam, she says, speaking in Spanish, you know I would never do anything to hurt you, right? See, sí, Samantha answers while still staring towards the floor. Nicole, still speaking in Spanish, continues, you're my precious butterfly. That's what my mom nicknamed you. After that statement, a slight smile comes across Samantha's face as she looks towards Nicole. She said that about me, Samantha asks, speaking in Spanish. Yes, Nicole responds in Spanish. I'm a little jealous. You're the only one of my friends she has a nickname for. The best I get is my daughter. As both Samantha and Nicole smile at each other, Samantha unfolds her arm and places her arm around Nicole's shoulder. Chica, chica, what would I do without you, she asks, causing both friends to giggle. Come on, let's head back out there, Nicole proposes. Both young women exit the restroom. Megan and Jennifer's concentration is interrupted as they both observe a now smiling Samantha followed by Nicole walking towards their table. Nicole gives them both a thumbs up sign as Samantha sits down, picks up her mirror kit and continues to admire herself. Hey Nikki, can you help me study for my next Spanish test? Megan asks. I want to ace this one. Nicole shrugs her shoulders. Sure, I'll stay over after we get back from the Wizard Enchantment Park on Sunday. Megan smirks while pointing two fingers towards Samantha and Jennifer. These two need a lot of help, she quips, causing Samantha to look towards Megan and scoff. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Samantha counters, as Jennifer, smirking, uh, looks towards Megan before speaking in Spanish. Hey, I'm holding down a B-plus in Spanish. I'm not like Sam who's pulling a D. Everyone laughs loudly, causing Samantha to stop grooming herself and watch Jennifer and Megan extend their hands out and briefly grasp each other's fingers. You know that's a lie, Jen. I'm pulling a C plus, Samantha insists, defending herself while smirking as the rest of her friends continue to chuckle. So Megan, did Ryan call you yet? Nicole inquires. You know he's got the hots for you, girl, Jennifer quips. And he's got those big, dreamy eyes, Samantha chimes while smiling. Nicole, still grinning, looks towards Megan. Hey, guys, she says, this is Meg. All the young women observe Nicole place her elbows on the table, then rest her chin in the palms of her hands while uh, gazing up towards the ceiling and taking a deep breath. <sighs> Nicole sighs and rolls her eyes, mimicking a love-struck teenager. Oh, Ryan. I just love your big dreamy eyes as Jennifer and Samantha give, give each other a fist bump and crack up laughing. Megan rolls her eyes and shakes her head before responding to Nicole's teasing while speaking in Spanish. You're lying, Nikki. You know that's not me. I don't act like a 13-year-old. As the friends continue to snicker and laugh loudly, Nicole finally responds to Megan's statement speaking in Spanish. I'm kidding, Megan. You're getting real good at speaking Spanish. Keep practicing. Nicole briefly chuckles while looking at both Samantha and Jennifer, then continues speaking in Spanish. Samantha and Jennifer need to practice their Spanish more. Megan, still smirking, surveys their table. Looks like we need more food, 
As Megan stands up, Jennifer attempts to keep the tease fest going. Hey Meg, why are you trying to change the subject? She sarcastically asks as the rest of their crew continue to laugh and giggle. As Megan arrives at the order counter, coffee shop owner Jonathan Daniels slides the glass of water sitting in the middle of the counter over to the side, quickly wipes the counter clean before draping his towel over his shoulder and smiles. Hey, little lady, what can I get you? He asks in a friendly but slightly flirtatious manner. Megan, feigning frustration, smirks. Jonathan, you don't have to call me little lady. Just call me Megan, she says, causing Jonathan to chuckle. I know, Megan. I'm just messing with you. What can I get you? Megan looks at the menu board for several moments, then orders. I'll have one blueberry muffin and two more bagels. And put it on our tab, she answers. Jonathan slightly frowns. Hey, Megan, how's it going for you out of state? What are you now, a sophomore, a junior, he inquires. I'm a junior, Megan confidently exclaims while feigning a slight attitude. You declare yet? What's your major, he asks. Yeah, sports therapy. Jonathan has a surprised look on his face. Nice. That was my major when I was going to state too, Jonathan says before chuckling. But you see what I'm doing now. Both Jonathan and Megan snicker before Megan briefly turns and points towards her girlfriend sitting at a nearby table. Yeah, I also know that the girls and I are in here so much, I might as well get a part-time job here too. Jonathan smirking nods his head in agreement. Then let me go get you an application, he quips, causing both he and Megan to briefly chuckle. Hey, Jonathan. When are you going to start selling fruit smoothies in your shop? Megan asks. I've thought about it, he states, but I need to do some more research. There's a yogurt smoothie shop we go to over in Westlake, and they sell a mean fruit smoothie called the Chimango, she insists, causing Jonathan to frown. Oh yeah? What's in it? He inquires, switching the towel from one shoulder to the other. Blended mango, chunks of diced mango, layered between chamoy with some sprinkled tamarind candy on top, she explains, as Jonathan slowly nods his head. Hmm, sounds interesting. Is it good, he asks. Megan slightly turns and briefly points towards the front entrance doors. I guarantee you start selling that here and you'll have a line to the front door, she boasts, causing both of them to chuckle. Thanks for the info, Megan. Hey, give me a few minutes and I'll bring your order over to your table, okay? No problem. Thanks, Jonathan. To learn more about Sam Aquino and the many other characters involved in these mysterious, intriguing, suspenseful, and coincidental fiction stories, purchase a copy of Private Investigations, Book 1 and Book 2, in one volume by visiting Doran's Publishing, available both in softcover and ebook formats, also available at Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble.